Ensuring the cleanliness of your cold plunge or ice bath is crucial. There are diverse methods ranging from mechanical filtration to chemical and non-chemical sanitization that help maintain water quality. While some approaches prove highly effective for cold plunges, others may fall short or pose risks in specific circumstances. In this discussion, I will explore a comprehensive range of options, sharing insights to my personal preferences and practices. I've received multiple requests to create a video on cold plunge sanitization, so let's dive into it. Initially, I'll discuss the non-chemical filtration methods implemented in my chiller. Within my chiller system, I have a 20 micron main filter, which I typically replace every month. A helpful indicator for knowing when to change the filter is observing its color or monitoring the pump flow rate. If the flow rate decreases by more than 3 or 4 liters per minute from the original rate, it signals that it's time to replace the filter. Additionally, the chiller incorporates the sizable metal mesh filter, which I remove and clean approximately every 3 months. In the past, older chillers had a smaller mesh filter at the water inlet that frequently experienced blockages. With the introduction of this larger filter, that, that particular issue has been effectively addressed. Furthermore, the chiller fe features a built-in ozone generator that produces O3 from the air and injects it into the water every 15 minutes. Ozone is a potent oxidizing agent and a robust disinfectant effectively eliminating bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms in the water. Unlike some traditional sanitizers, ozone does not produce any harmful disinfection by products, contributing to better water quality. Ozone can help eliminate unpleasant odors in the water, improving overall water quality. It can re uh, reduce the, the reliance on traditional chemical sanitizers, lowering the overall chemical load in the water. Certainly, the inclusion of an ozone generator increases the cost of chillers. However, if you plan to change the water every two to three weeks, uh, chemical sanitizers may not be necessary at all. In fact, some individuals successfully operate their cold plunge for several months solely relying on ozone generator. In such cases, it's crucial to run the chiller 24 hours a day to ensure consistent water movement and ongoing sanitization. It's worth noting that ozone has a short life and does not offer a long-lasting residual effect in the water, necessitating continuous ozone generation for effective sanitization. Typically, I operate my chiller for approximately six hours a day, and I opt to change the water every three months. Additionally, I make it a weekly routine to wipe the inside of the top with a cloth to dislodge any algae from the walls and the floor. As an added precaution, I introduce some chemical sanitizers into the system. Now, delving into chemical sanitizers, the primary option include chlorine, bromine, and hydrogen peroxide. Chlorine is a highly effective sanitizer ca capable of killing a wide range of bacteria, viruses, and algae in water. It is generally more cost-effective compared to the other two alternatives. That is why it is almost always used in pools. Chlorine is widely available in various forms. It works relatively quickly and disinfects water, providing rapid results when needed. However, chlorine can cause skin and eye inf uh, irritation in some individuals. And the characteristic uh, chlorine odor can be unpleasant. The reaction between chlorine and organic matter in the water can lead to some formation of disinfection by products, some of which may be harmful in high concentrations. Chlorine effectiveness is pH dependent, and maintaining the proper pH level is crucial for its optimal performance. If the pH is too high or too low, chlorine may be less effective. When utilizing chlorine, it is essential to have a test kit for regular water testing as it can lead to increased acidity. Consequently, pH adjustments may be necessary. Personally, I don't recommend chlorine for cold plunge and ice bath applications. Boromine is also a powerful sanitizer similar to chlorine and is effective against a broad spectrum of bacteria, viruses, and algae in water. 
However, bromine is less pH sensitive than chlorine, meaning it remains effective over a broader pH range. This can simplify water maintenance and also unlike chlorine, bromine tends to produce fewer disinfection byproducts, which can be an advantage in terms of water quality. Boromine remains stable at higher temperatures, making it suitable for use in uh, hot water environments such as spas and hot tubs. It typically has a milder odor compared to chlorine, which can be preferable for individuals sensitive to strong chemical smell. Boromine is more stable than chlorine in presence of sunlight, making it last longer in outdoor pools uh, exposed to sunlight. However, bromine can be more expensive than chlorine, which could impact the overall operating cost of maintaining a cold plunge. Bromine tablets or granules may take longer to dissolve and activate in water compared to chlorine, meaning it may take a bit more time to see, to see results. I certainly prefer bromine to chlorine. Now, let's talk about my favorite hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an effective oxidizing agent that can help break down and eliminate organic uh, contaminants in the water. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into water and oxygen, leaving no residual chemicals in the water. This can be preferable for those who want a chemical-free or low-impact sanitization method. Also, it does not produce the chlorine smell, making it a good option for those who are sensitive to strong chemical odors. The composition of hydrogen peroxide is non-toxic and it does not produce any harmful disinfection byproducts. It is generally pH neutral, reducing the need uh, for frequent pH adjustments. Now, on the cons, hydrogen peroxide is definitely more expensive than traditional sanitizers. Hydrogen peroxide does not provide a long-lasting residual effect in the water, so continuous dosing may be necessary for effective sanitization. The effectiveness of hydrogen peroxide can be temperature dependent and, uh, its, uh, and its activity may decrease at higher water temperature. Also, hydrogen peroxide may not be as effective in controlling algae as some other sanitizers. In summary, while hydrogen peroxide may not be as potent as bromine, it stands out as the most hassle-free and least harmful chemical option. I personally use a 30% concentration available on Amazon or other platforms. Adding around 40 millimeters to my plunge every week and that is, that is all it takes. To ensure effectiveness, you can use test strips to monitor the hydrogen peroxide concentration in the water. Typically, a concentration of 30 to 100 ppm is recommended for optimal uh, results. Some chillers opt for UV light instead of an ozone generator. Why UV light is a chemical-free method is effectiveness raises questions. First, it is crucial that UV light emits UVC, not A or B. Additionally, the quality of the lamp is a key factor, and determining which one genuinely works can be challenging. UV light effectiveness is also impacted by water clarity and quality, potentially proving less effective in cloudy water. Most notably, UV light appears to be less effective at lower water temperatures, which can be a crucial consideration for cold plunge and ice bath applications. Personally, I find more confidence in sticking with ozone generators for the proven efficacy. Here is a summary of the various cold plunge sanitization options and my personal preferences. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. For more insight on cold plunge and cold exposure, check out the videos here and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, stay cool, healthy and strong.